Today's video is on Mostar Bosnia. Perhaps like me, when you hear Bosnia, you immediately think of the Bosnian War. Well, I wanna give you an idea for a great add-on spot if you're traveling to Croatia or Sarajevo or somewhere near there. Mostar has a Turkish feel to it because of its history. It really is only worth spending about a day in that specific spot, but it's beautiful, very unique spot to see. So if you are going to Mostar, book a place to stay maybe overnight, and you're gonna definitely want to be in the Old Town area. As you come further out, you will begin to see a lot of the ravages of war in that area. They've really worked hard to build back up the Old Town. So if you are spending the day there in Mostar, I'm going to give you a recommendation that our Airbnb owner gave to us, and this is the Hotel Emin. Don't do the buffet breakfast, but ask for the sit down. I want to say it was about seven euro for two people for this widespread breakfast. There was so much food there. When they brought up that much food, my eyes were like, why? I'm like, okay, we got to eat all this food you'll get some of the unique flavors of Bosnia and this area of the world. Then make your way towards the old bridge or Starry Most. As you go through, it's this wonderful bazaar. You'll see handmade copper items, all kinds of other wares and fares. And for me, it felt like a flashback of my Middle Eastern trip. My favorite part is going to the town and eating breakfast and seeing people jump off the bridge. My favorite part of Mostar was going around uh, through the markets. There were some cool bracelets and stuff. There were handmade things that were really cool. We got to watch this guy hand making copper bracelets and stuff. Walk through the bazaar, go to the bridge. Be careful, the bridge is a bit slippery. And there was the bridge. These uh, people, they would train to dive off this really uh, tall bridge. But the bridge was like really tall. It was like probably more than 25 feet at least. In season on the bridge, you will see men waiting to collect enough money to be convinced to jump off of the bridge. It's their way of making a buck on the tourists, but it is also a really neat experience to see one of them jump from such a high spot. And if you want to get a cup of coffee, there are a few shops with a vista right onto the bridge so that you can watch the jumpers, watch them tease the tourists with pretending to get up and jump until they've collected enough money. Then you'll go past the bridge into the the old bazaar, more shops to see, more foods to try. I will say avoid the gelato. The only bad gelato that we have gotten while here in Europe was there in Mostar. There's lots of other local treats to try. Just skip the gelato. This will lead you up along the cliff of the river and over to a mosque that was built in the 1600s. People are welcome to go into the mosque for a small fee and see inside. After you've spent your time wandering around and taking in the ambiance, head over to a restaurant like Sadra get a great Bosnian meal, and there you've done it. That's your simple Mostar trip. This was one of those places where it wasn't really the activities that drew me to it, but instead the entire feel of the place, the uniqueness of this spot, the beauty all along the river. And I highly encourage you to maybe ask a local about how long they've lived there, what their history is. The whole Bosnian War from the perspective of a local is very fascinating and really is the reason I love to travel. I love to meet new people, see new cultures, and hear stories from them.